Coming into this game, Dwayne, there would be two notable absences from the Montreal offense. We knew William Stanback was not healthy enough to play. And then just before game time, it was decided Cody Fajardo can't go. So Caleb Evans gets the start. Walter Fletcher in at running back. And those two embraced the chance they got. Yeah, they really did. They were kind of the story offensively, I thought, for, for Montreal in this football game. Right from the start, you looked at Caleb Evans on Montreal's opening drive, using his legs a little bit. Walter Fletcher pounding the football. Evans with a couple of rushing touchdowns in this ball game, keeping some drives alive and, and so on. I thought it was a, a good, low-risk, play-to-your-strengths kind of performance for the Montreal Alouettes in this football game. As mentioned, as you mentioned, missing some key parts. It was Caleb Evans' first start as a member of the Montreal Alouettes. He picks up the victory, and he had this to say about it afterwards to our Kenzie Lalone. Well, congratulations on the win, Caleb. I want to go back to your opening drive. I mean, a rushing touchdown on your first game as QB with the Alouettes. Is that as much of a dream moment as you can imagine? Uh, yeah, it's always a big time to start off on the right foot and to start off with a touchdown drive, period, running or throwing was going to be a big time for, I feel like, to calm everybody's nerves and let us know that we're, we're still in it and ready to play. We talked this week about how you've been spending more time after practice working on downfield plays, and it paid off when you look at that awesome Matt catch you threw for, for 30 yards. He ran it in. Was that just kind of an example of all the hard work you've been putting in for this moment and it paying off? Uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's it, the hard work always shows, you know, so uh, I just stay with my head down trying to work hard. Um, like I told you, every week you never know when your time's coming. So, you know, it's my time, I guess, now. And uh, with the guys around me, helping me out big time. What do you think it was about the play calling here tonight that just kept Saskatchewan guessing? Uh, I think Coach had a great game plan. Uh, Coach AC, Coach Moss, Coach Mike, we just had a good game plan. O-line was blocking their butt off. And, uh, you know, Fletch was running the ball great. I uh, had the defense on the heels, I feel like, and uh, we completed a couple passes when we needed to, and uh, I feel like that just kind of had them off. And, I, of course, me running around a little. But uh, overall, I think everybody did their job to get us that win. Congratulations. Enjoy the win. Thank you. Certainly impressive running the ball, Dwayne. You look at his passing stats, not spectacular at 8 for 13, 149, a touchdown and a pick. But you said during the broadcast, he didn't have to be spectacular. This was really a team victory. Their defense was very strong as well. Yeah, it was. And you, you need the defense, obviously, to, to step up a little bit, special teams and so on. You talk about those kinds of things and, and hope they come to fruition when your backup quarterback is playing. But, yeah, I thought that in this particular game, Montreal's defense was was very good. A um, couple of interceptions, and a couple of those coming, I thought, at, at pretty important times in terms of setting momentum. You saw pressure on both Saskatchewan quarterbacks throughout this ball game, and at times able to, to really limit Saskatchewan in terms of the run game. So I think this is one that that all around Montreal should be should be proud of in terms of the way people stepped up to make up for the absentees. Real complete victory for the Alouettes, as we talked about, uh, where they didn't put all the pressure on their quarterback, Caleb Evans, stepping in for Cody Fajardo. So Montreal improves to 5-3. and three. They got the Ottawa Red Blacks next week. As for Saskatchewan, well, back below 500 at 4-5, and five, hosting the BC Lions next week.